the first and most important area of concern for facial development and maintenance is the individual's breathing habit or breathing habits. There's no question that there's a direct relationship between growth or lack of growth of the upper and lower face and nasorespiratory function. So things like mouth breathing, tonsils, adenoids, um, allergies, uh, and there are other nasal obstructions. They have been related to distortions in craniofacial growth by individuals like Harvold, McNamara, Linder Aronson, Miller, Vargervik, Woodside, and many others. And these are really well-known individuals who've, who've studied this.